Um, I did just graduate college in May. Um, thank you, thank you, yeah. I do miss college a lot. Um, I miss one class in particular that I took. I took a psychology of disgust class. So we learned about elements of disgust. Um, we had one unit on uh, white supremacy. So for this unit, we had to buy the Klansmen, which for those of you who don't know, is the KKK manifesto. It's kind of like the handbook on how to be racist, right? Um, so our, my, my professor informed us that uh, there are two places you can buy <laughs> the Klansmen. The first one is the KKK, and the second is the University of Arkansas. <laughs> which in terms of racism is only like a step up from the KKK. <laughs> now here's the thing, the KKK's version was a little bit cheaper. <laughs> so I emailed the University of Arkansas and I was like, hey, I'm a student, I'm poor, I can't afford this, would you be able to send it to me free of charge? And they were like, no, sorry, the proceeds from this go to our classics and history department, so you'd have to buy it. So I emailed the KKK. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear that email? Yes. Yeah. I said, Dear KKK HR Department, <laughs> my name is Abby Gale. <laughs> and I'm a nice white woman at the University of Arkansas. Um, I'm dabbling in white supremacy, but have very little money because of Obama. <laughs> Would you kindly send me the Klansman? Yours, Abigail. And a few weeks later, I got a response from them. It said, Dearest Abigail, it is so nice to see young girls engaging with their heritage. Attached, you'll find a full PDF of the Klansmen free of charge. Yours, the KKK. And that's the story of the time I was so broke that I scammed the KKK out of 20 years. Um, I sent a lot of really insane emails and, and letters in my time in college. Um, my freshman year, I wrote a, a, a paper about the psychology of serial killers, so I decided to send a letter to Charles Manson. Does anyone know who Charles Manson is? A very prolific serial killer. Um, so I looked up how to send letters to serial killers, because I was nervous. And, yeah. And apparently there is a set of rules. So the first rule is, uh, believe it or not, there are a set of rules. The first rule is don't be abrasive because you might scare them off, right? Because there are things that scare a serial killer off. Um, the second is don't include any defining features in case they escape and try to find you and murder you. And the third, which is my favorite, is um, be charming enough to flatter them, but not too charming to get put on an FBI watch list. <laughs> so I wrote the letter. I said, Dear Charles Manson, my name is Abby. I have two eyes, a nose, and some hair. <laughs> I'm a big fan, not huge, of your work. <laughs> Would you kindly give me an interview? <laughs> Lukewarm regards. <laughs> Abby. And, they, and he never responded, but that's okay. 